egg spot. For this project, we'll need a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver. Before we start, always remove the AC adapter and battery. Unscrew the two hard drive screws that secure the hard drive base to the assembly. Slide the hard drive out. Unscrew the single retaining screw. Use this tip of the screwdriver to slide the optical drive out. Remove the two screws that hold the center control power button cover to the base of the computer. Unscrew the four screws holding the bottom base access cover. Remove the cover starting from right to left. Remove the two hinge screws holding the LCD display assembly to the base of the laptop. Unscrew the 11 screws that are holding down the touchpad palm rest to the base. With your finger, separate the clips on each side of the memory stick until the memory lifts up. Gently pull the memory stick out of the memory slot. Loosen the five retaining screws on the heat sink. Remove by lifting up and out. Disconnect the antenna wires from the mini wireless card. Loosen the antenna cables from the base assembly antenna routing channels. Next, remove the single retaining screw and remove the wireless mini PCI card. Turn the computer over and fully open the display flattening out as far as possible. Lift and unsnap the power button cover using a small flathead screwdriver starting from right to left. Unscrew the two retaining screws above the keyboard. Gently lift up the keyboard to reveal the ribbon cable below. Be careful while lifting the keyboard because it is very easy to damage the ribbon cable and the motherboard connector. Lift the keyboard cable connector latch and remove the keyboard ribbon cable and keyboard. Unplug the power button circuit board cable from the motherboard and remove. Disconnect and remove the display cable and camera cable from the motherboard. Slide the antenna wires out of the motherboard and loosen them from the top of the routing channels of the laptop. Unscrew the four waffle hinge screws from the left and right display hinge. Lift the LCD display assembly off the bottom base. Remove the four screws from the middle of the palm rest and a single waffle screw on the upper left hand corner. Unplug the touchpad cable from the motherboard. Unplug the Bluetooth cable from the motherboard. Carefully lift up the touchpad palm rest off the base starting from the upper left corner, unsnapping it along the edges. Unplug the speaker wire. Unplug the USB wire. And unplug the CPU fan. Unscrew the three screws that hold down the express card slot assembly on the base. Gently lift and remove. Unscrew the four remaining screws that hold down the motherboard.
Gently pull the motherboard out of the base by lifting the right side first. Unscrew the two retaining screws that hold down the DC power jack USB I.O. circuit board. Disconnect from the motherboard. Connect the DC power jack USB I.O. circuit board to the motherboard. Replace the two retaining screws. Place the motherboard into the base assembly and screw down with the four screws. Connect the CPU fan. Connect the speaker wire. Connect the USB wire. Firmly press the express card slot assembly connector into the motherboard connector and screw down with the three screws. Lay the touchpad palm rest on the base and snap the edges in. Screw down the touchpad palm rest with the five screws. Connect the touchpad to the motherboard. Place the power button board and cable into the motherboard connector and press down on the connector latch. Align the display hinges to the bottom base and seat carefully. Replace the four waffle hinge screws on the left and right side. Reroute and connect the video cable and camera cable to the motherboard. Connect the Bluetooth cable to the motherboard. Reroute the antenna cables through the upper routing channels. Pass the antenna cable through the motherboard to the bottom. Press the keyboard cable into the motherboard connector and press down on the latch. Place the keyboard into the palm rest aligning the tabs on the bottom of the keyboard to the palm rest. Screw down the top of the keyboard. Place the power button cover on the laptop starting from the left side, moving to the right side while snapping it into place. Close the LCD panel and flip the laptop over. Place the mini PCI card into the slot at a 45 degree angle and press down. Secure it with the single retaining screw. Reroute the antenna cables through the bottom routing channels. Connect the antenna cables to the mini wireless cards. Place the CPU processor into the slot. Lock it down by turning the locking screw clockwise. Replace the heatsink and tighten the screws in a sequential order shown on the heatsink.
Place the memory stick into the memory slot so the cutout matches at a 45 degree angle until you hear a click. Replace the 11 screws that hold down the touchpad palm rest to the base. Screw in the two screws that hold down the display assembly to the base of the laptop. Place the bottom base access cover onto the base assembly starting from the left to right. Tighten the four screws. Slide the optical drive into the bay, seat firmly and replace the optical drive retaining screw. Slide the hard drive assembly into the laptop, secure it with the two hard drive screws. Reseat the battery. We hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.